Lovelies, it's your girl Asia, and today I'm sharing some hair with you guys from Outre. It is the Dominican Blowout Straight in 18 inches. This hair is really pretty. As you can see, it's like a nice little kinky, blown out look. This hair is the same texture as the actual Dominican Blowout wig that's pretty popular with Outre. They just decided to make it into a crochet style. So first things first, I'm going to talk about the installation process. The installation process was very easy. This hair is actually pre-looped hair and it's supposed to make your installation easy and fast. I have installed this hair by using the regular crochet method, doing about two to three knots. My only issues that I kind of had with it is that the rubber band around the loop sometimes would um, pop or come apart after I've installed the hair into my head. That actually led to looser knots. I would actually recommend removing the rubber band and then separating the hair into small sections like so. Then install the hair using the regular crochet method followed by three to four knots. This will result in smaller knots that are easier to conceal and they should stay put a little better than using the pre-loop. I had a hard time getting my part to look natural just using the outre hair. I tried to do the knotless method with the hair and what would end up happening is that the hair that lays across the braid would actually be sticking up a little bit and I did not like that look so I decided to go pick up some kinky Marley hair and um, I just took that and actually did my part. And as you can see, my part looks really, really natural. To blend the hair, what I did is I just detangled it with a powder brush and then I flat ironed it and I flat ironed it on about 180 degrees. And this is the final result. This is the Dominican blowout hair right here. And this is the Marley hair. The only difference in the two is the way that they feel. The Dominican blowout hair is a lot softer than the Marley hair. I just use my regular knotless method. I have a video tutorial on that. If you click the I button, you can go ahead and see that if you haven't seen it already. So the pros and cons of this hair, it's very beautiful hair. It looks great, um, but I would say that it mattes up pretty easily. I've had this hair in for about three days and it does get stiff. It does get stiff. You have to like comb through it to make sure that it doesn't look like a stiff wig. I would say if you're going to do this style, you need to leave out some hair or you need to use Marley hair at the top to blend it in. Otherwise, you're gonna have a really hard time concealing your knots and you're gonna have a really hard time making it look natural. But if you use Marley hair, I would use it. Like I used it on this, th these two braids and then I used it on the center braid and that will help conceal everything and make it look really nice. I have in eight packs of hair, I had a total of 10 packs, but I only used eight. It's a lot of hair per pack. Um, so it'll leave your hair really, really dense. If you use 10 packs, you're gonna have whew, a lot of hair. But this hair is very gorgeous. I just wanted to share it with you guys. This is a cro another crochet option that Outre has made available. You can get the hair at your local beauty supply store. Just keep in mind the pros and cons that I have told you guys. Personally, um, I think this is a gorgeous style, but I do think that the loop needs to be improved. It just, the hair just slips, you know, a lot. And I kind of don't like that, but I think that this is a great temporary style. Um, I would not expect for it to last more than about three weeks tops. Also, you're gonna have a lot of shedding with this hair. Every time I run my fingers through, I get some strands. It's pretty regular, which I mean, it's to be expected with crocheted hair. Honestly, I would love to see this hair as a track hair because I think they will be really gorgeous. I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little video sharing this hair by Altre. Um, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them down in the description box below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And I will catch you lovelies in my next video. Remember to embrace you and be bold. Bye guys.
Make sure that you connect with me. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Asia May, on Twitter at Asia May underscore, and on my blog at AsiaMay.com. Click the I button to see my latest video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe.